What's up, CHFFL? It is finally here, 2018 Championship Week. Uh, we have a fantastic matchup between Parker and Wes. Wes has dominated the league all year. Uh, he and Max, really, but unlike Max, Wes has stayed mostly healthy. Parker, on the other hand, the underdog who we don't even know how he made it into the playoffs, but here he is, week 16, our first 16 week season. And I am coming to you from the distant past of Thursday. I'm recording the video before I uh, fly to Pittsburgh to spend Christmas with the family and hopefully see some of you guys if you're around. But I'll probably have this going up onto the internet Saturday or Sunday, which you know because you're watching it right now. Uh, so if anything is outdated, that's the reason why. Also, ESPN had all these major stat problems this morning, so when I go position by position, some of the stat, uh, the rankings of the teams might be off by a little bit, but it, it only would be week 15 that was affected, so it shouldn't be a big deal. We have the same uh, preview format as for the other playoff games, but I am going to spend one moment quickly previewing the third place game like I did uh, the regular season games. Let's jump right in and do that now. We got Stan versus Max in the third place game. Uh, Barkley and Christian McAfee have great matchups. And while Melvin Gordon is back in Max's starting lineup, he's still dinged up. No real replacement for Kareem Hunt. Um, I'm going with Stan here. He probably needs a little boost and a little prize money after Josh Gordon got kicked out of the league because he got high. And uh, I think Stan will take this one, though. Two great teams. Both of them would have been good contributions to the uh, championship, but fell up short. So let's get into the Parker versus West scenario. They did not play in interleague play this year. Interleague play only three games. But... This is a rematch of last year's championship, which Wes won 142 to 123. At the time, Wes had Julio Jones and Parker had Mike Evans, and now those guys are on opposite teams. Uh, it's just fate. We'll see how the rematch is going to play out here. Injuries. Parker, Alshon Jeffrey is questionable. He had some sort of illness. Again, this is something that you, you future people probably have knowledge of that I don't. I thought it was worth monitoring because Parker has him in the lineup. Wes, uh, James Conner is expected to be back. I just don't know, uh, with the Stillers playing New Orleans, who has a good run defense, how great I'd feel about starting somebody for not sure how limited he might be. Definitely worth looking at Conner. So, into the lineups. Quarterbacks. Parker has Drew Brees against the Steelers, who are 19th against quarterbacks. Um, the Steelers-Saints matchup is going to be pivotal, which is just perfect for a Pittsburgh-based fantasy football league. Wes has Andrew Locke going against the Giants, also not that great against the pass at 17. I think either of the quarterbacks could have a great game. Both of them will probably do at least well point-wise. So, I don't really put this towards either Wes or Parker. Let's go into running backs. Parker has Mixon and Cook in the lineup, both with beautiful running back matchups, Cleveland and Detroit toward the bottom of the league against uh, backs. Wes has Kamara against the Steelers, who while the Steelers give up a lot of passing yards, uh, Kamara might be facing a pretty tough day or at least a heavy passing day. Now, Kamara, unlike a lot of backs, gets a lot of passes, so that might be how he has to get his points. David Johnson against the Rams, another tough matchup. Connor, uh, as I said, tough matchup, and we're worried about the injuries. So running backs, I'm definitely favoring Parker, even though Kamara's been the best of this whole group for the full year. Wide receivers, um, again, Parker has some good matchups with uh, Corey Davis against Washington's 27th, Julio Jones, a beautiful matchup against Carolina. Alshon Jeffrey, beside being questionable, has a tough matchup. I don't know if Parker's going to end up starting Jeffrey, and I've added an extra slide to talk about this. Wes, uh, with Tariq Hill against Seattle, that's fine. Hill's the uh, big game threat, so it's not a tough enough defense to deter you. And Hopkins against Philadelphia, who's just... How did they win the Super Bowl last year? And what is this team now? Hopkins should be great. I almost give Wes a nod at wide receiver just because of that. But Julio with a good matchup too. I think receivers are split could go either way at the very least. But I wanted to add and talk about some other flex options because I wouldn't be surprised if Parker or Wes changes their lineup. Parker also has 
James White against Buffalo. And I feel like the Patriots are out for revenge with some of the national media they've been getting over the last uh, week or so. So he could score a lot of points. Calvin Ridley with a good matchup. And then you're starting Ridley and Julio. Uh, Allen Robinson has a good matchup with San Francisco. And I noticed just before I put this video up that Parker actually put Robert Foster in at flex against New England. Um, I could see Parker starting any of these guys. And that gut call could be what this game comes down to. Wes has Mike Evans on the bench against Dallas, who's been very good against wide receivers this year. And strange as it may be, he could almost think about flexing uh, George Kittle. I mean, flexing a tight end in the championship would be absurd, but Wes has the power to do it because at tight end, he has Eric Ebron. Good matchup against the Giants. Parker with Austin Hooper against Carolina. Um, Ebron's been the better tight end this year, but not by too much. I consider tight end just about a wash. Uh, let's move on to defense. Parker, the Dolphins against Jacksonville. Dolphins, not a great defense, but Jacksonville has really let themselves go over the past four or five weeks. So I like this matchup. Wes, uh, starting the Chargers against Baltimore. Now, in these playoff previews, I've twice said that I don't love starting a bad defense because you think the matchup is good. Baltimore, I, th I think the play here is that Lamar Jackson starting and you're hoping he's turning it over. The Chargers' defense is not that good. For the third time, I'm going to say that I don't like this defensive matchup for Wes. Um, but we'll see what happens. I'm giving the nod to Parker here in terms of defense. All in all, a ton of factors, though. But I've gotten three out of the four playoff uh, picks right, including two Parker upsets. For this one, though... I'm picking Parker again. I'm picking the upset three times in a row... It's a fun matchup, especially with how much the Steelers game matters with Connor and Breeze and Kamara. Um, but you got to go for the Cinderella story. You got to go Cinderella story, and it's David versus Goliath with uh, West scored so many points in the regular season. Parker was like sixth or lower in total points, probably lower because the anime conference was so good. But I'm picking Parker. I'm picking the upset. Both of you guys, fantastic job getting here. Stan and Max, best of luck. Good job getting to the third place game thank you guys for a great season um, i'm going to be home in pittsburgh until new year's so i'll see you sometime in 2019 next and until then bye bye